Welcome back, viewers, to Cube World Part 12. And last episode, we was just doing a load of digging, going through caves, just checking all that stuff out. And I said about, oh, uh, I thought I did this one. I thought this was the beta one, what I failed at. But it isn't, because look, there he is. He's a big goblin over there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. If not, I'm not going to make this take up the full episode if I fail In even if I don't fail I'll still probably speed it up if it takes forever so we're just gonna have to go see how it turns out because I've got my potions here I'm a little bit stronger than I was last time and I think I might be able to take this guy on because he is ranged and I think the beetle was melee so I might do a little bit better if I keep dodging so let's go oh come on come on baby come on right come on mr. bunny you can do this you can do this good that's right keep hitting him Hitting him harder. Hit him so hard he doesn't even know it. There we go. Right, if I just keep dodging this. And I got move. And then a load of that. And then take this guy out for a pizza. Oh, oh. Look at my health. Oh, he's not doing... I'm not doing that great on this. There we go. Right, that's him taken out. Let's see how we do on this one. Right, let's recover around here. Ugh, God, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Damn it. Damn you, Mr. Goblin. I mean, I've done a little bit to his health, I think. And I've only hit him, like, three times, so that's a good sign. Because usually mages aren't that tough. And that beetle looked very thick-skinned or thick-shelled. Are they... Are beetles, like, the skeleton kind of things where... The exoskeleton? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Right, let's pick up that. Oh, God. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go, come on. Come on, bunny. We can do this. Ooh. Look at his health, look at his health. I mean, I've got ten potions. I should be able to do this. But th this is definitely going to be sped up because it's taking forever. Oh, 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 oh. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Oh, God, he does a number on my health. Or a few numbers. In fact, right, let me, let me come around here. Where, where's he gone? Where's he gone? Has he fell down there? Has he recovered? No, he hasn't. Oh, damn you. Damn you! Right, should I be, should I blow this up, maybe? Run away, mister! Oh, no. If I jump down there, I don't think I'm going to be able to get out. So let's just give it a go. This is, this could be the end of Zen. Here we go. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I don't go. Go, go, go. Oh, where's he gone? Has he respawned? Oh, he has. Right. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Here we go. Right, come on, bunny. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, oh, oh. I am going to give this my all, but there's no room for me to dodge anymore. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Slice, slice, slice. Come on. Oh, oh. oh, God damn it. He does so much. Come on, come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, the bosses are definitely too hard for a low level like me. <laughs> come on. Oh, God, he does that, and I, my thing doesn't work on him. Right, come on, bunny. Bunny, 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 bunny. Bu bunny, bunny. Right, here we go. Don't do that again, Zen. It's unoriginal. You've done it once already. Come on, slice this. Slice him up. Good. Ooh. Right, drink this, drink this, and boom. There we go. Oh, where's he gone? He's up here. Right, up. Oh, is, he, is he just punching now? Oh, no. Leave me alone. Bunny, we're doing well, we're doing well. Keep an eye on my health. Ooh. Right, run, run. Keep, 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 keep. You can't hit me, mister. You can't hit me. Oh, no, my... I should have got enough... I don't got enough health potions. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm going to die. Ooh. That was close, that was close, that was close. Come on, keep slicing and dice. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's respawn and make our way back to the city. Did we get any XP off that? I don't believe so. Let's make our way back and I guess I'm just going to have to try and survive without getting killed by these guys. Right. Oh. Right. They're easy once you get them down, these wizards. It's just their beam attacks are way overpowered. If you've seen that, I think it would have been in one of my other episodes where they're like a green beam comes out of their wand and you just die instantly and I don't know why they've put it in the game because no wizards allowed to use that well character wizards what you can play as so I don't understand that at all but we'll just make our way over here I haven't got a hand glider I wish I did because I would be able to glide my way all the way back to the city but that's something to look forward to again oh there's a respawn point there so if I go all newbie I'm not that far behind hey mr. crow what do you know nothing because you're dead my way back you are protecting a cave what I need to be digging out of well not digging but 
stealing all the good stuff. Hey, Mr. Bunny, coming at the right time there. I love it when he dashes in his legs. Then I'll save you. I mean, I haven't been looking at how much damage he does because you'll notice the numbers come up, and that's depending on how much damage you're doing to them. But let's just see. Is he doing any anything? No, it doesn't show his numbers actually. That's strange. You should put that in because I'd like to know how much damage Mr. Bunny can do. Because he looks quite strong actually. Right, let's put another bomb down here. Run! There we go. Ooh, just... Oh, and there's the... Oh, some iron blocks. There we go again. So yes, inside the caves in the boulders, make sure you blow them up because sometimes there is some little goodies what you can use on your weapons or whatever I believe there's emeralds and sapphires also what you use for jewelry I think I don't know if you use them for like end game well not end game but later on in the game weapons maybe who knows I know there's gold and silver also and I've never seen like any weapons what are gold or silver or armor so I'm not sure where you get them from if you find them if it is probably to do with these kinds of dungeons I mean like white text I should be able to take that dungeon on not dungeon well cross swords but it's just it's just the way the game's done at the moment and I'm sure probably by beta that the leveling kinda curve is going to be sorted out hopefully anyway and if not then by the release of the game it should be and I think there isn't as many DOS attacks or there was having problems where people were trying to stop the game from being bought off their actual website so but I think that's been totally sorted out now what is great for Wale god those raccoons are quite easy and I get some good XP from them okay I'm going to cut this out here and I'm going to come back when I'm almost leveled up epic montage yo you don't even know dodging arrow and also that boomerang humans on my back Bunny goes down again. Down again. Down again. Chick with purple hair got a stir at my booty. Uh, then get your ass out of there. Oh, they're back again. I'm gonna go insane. Feeling the rage going from my veins and my blades go for your blocks. This bitch won't stop. Then she kicks my ass into a million blocks. Respawn. Picking up pumpkins like I'm mowing the lawn. What you looking at, Comlin? Let my sword start swinging only to receive a single <laughs> apple ring. Oh, free flies about to die from a poke in the eye. If there is a hornet, let's be honest, I'll be on it. Blowing up crap, bunny in the back, running to a cape, gotta be brave, yo. Found some emeralds. What you looking at, frogs? You're gonna get chopped up like. The logs. Oh my god, there's my brand new sword. Done. Phew, that took me a while to find a sword. I was originally going to level up, but I found this amazing sword, and hopefully, I make like a little montage or something like that. Was quite funny. And me getting this sword because I killed a load of frog people I think it was and one of them just dropped this amazing like saw kind of thing and it's my current level now so I can show you the editing so first off you need to use the stuff what you've gotten from the iron or the deposits and those are called iron cubes and that uh, iron nuggets and it turns into iron cubes so I'm just going to craft a load of these I'm not going to use them all so in fact I will leave six because you, I can create a brand new swords out of the blocks. It's not just for customizing. You can make your own weapons. While well, getting to Fevron in the series, so here we go. Let's put you right click on the item you want to edit, and then you middle click to drag. And look at that. You get a 3D view. Now this sword is kind of already going for a design of like a zigzaggy thing, not zigzaggy, like a a saw kind of blades sticking out the back so I can't really do anything because it'd look weird if I put it on one side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put jagged edges can I zoom in no you can't zoom in so that could be something what could get added so if I put jagged edges and I've seen a friend do this on one of his swords that we 
Go there we go. <laughs> and there we have it. And straight away it's edited. Awesome. Like if you love me, subscribe, support me, check out all my links down below, leave a comment about the video, and I will see you guys in part 13. Peace out.